Hi, welcome to my channel, Organize with Joy. I'm Joy and I want to help you get organized. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how to have an organized schedule for the holidays. I wanted to share five tips of prepping before Thanksgiving. The first tip I have is to make a list of all the tasks that need to get done before the holiday and then allocate those tasks um, prior to that day and try to get as much done in advance as you possibly can. There's always extra things that need to be done around the holidays. There's extra cleaning and extra cooking and extra shopping. So if you make a plan to get things done prior to the holiday, then it makes everything go much more smoothly. For instance, if you want to deep clean some areas of your home prior to guests coming into town, uh, just you could probably do that a week or two in advance and then just do some last minute cleaning right before they come. If you need to do extra shopping, whether it's gifts or food, do that in advance. Do that um, a week or two prior to the holiday and that way you're not scrambling at the last minute to get everything accomplished. The second tip I have is in conjunction with the first one and that's to prepare food in advance. Um, I know preparing food is one of the tasks on your list, but if you intentionally prepare food in advance, that leaves less for you to do right you know, the day before or on the day of Thanksgiving. Um, perhaps there's a dish that you can um, prepare in advance and then freeze it. You could probably do that even two, three weeks ahead of the actual holiday. Or maybe there's some prep work that needs to be done, some chopping or whatever it might be, where you can do all of that prep work in advance and then actually preparing the dish once all that prep work is done is a lot easier. The third tip I have is to plan for easy meals around the holiday. Um, whether it's uh, preparing meals in advance and freezing them so you just have to pull it out of the freezer and stick it in the oven, or maybe it's planning to use your crock pot or your instant pot, which is a great way to make full meals all in one and very easy. Or uh, you might even want to try out the um, food services that are available where they bring a meal kit to your front door and then all you have to do is prepare it. Um, I know there's different levels. Um, you can have something that is already totally prepared that you just stick in the oven or some that have a little bit more prep work. But either way, um, this might be a good opportunity just to check out those services um, just for the holidays to help you out. The fourth tip I have is to enlist help. I wanted to share with you guys that for many years now on for our Thanksgiving meal, I have ordered a pre-made Thanksgiving meal from our local organic grocery store. And it's been so great because then I don't feel stressed um, leading up to it and everything just kind of pops in the oven. There are certainly some extra dishes that um, I wanted to make that are family favorites on top of what we ordered. Um, but it took all of those main dishes just off my list. So, um, you know, that's that's one way you could um, get extra help is just ordering. Or perhaps you could do a potluck sort of Thanksgiving meal where everybody brings things. That way, um, all of these dishes are not just on you to prepare. Another idea is to have your kids help, um, you know, have them help clean or cook. It might not be perfect, but it does get the job done. And honestly, it teaches your kids elements of hospitality, which is great thing to learn. If you don't have any children, you could um, enlist your friends to help. Maybe on a Saturday morning, um, some friends could come over and help you get your home clean and help you prep some um, food dishes for the holiday. The last tip I have, number five, is lower your expectations. And this is coming from a recovering perfectionist. And I've had to tell myself or remind myself of this truth so many times. Um, really, I think so often we set such high standards for ourselves um, on how 
our um, home is kept or how our food is prepared. But honestly, I think most family members, um, they don't notice those things. What, what they notice is how they feel when, you come into, when they come into your home. So just remember that the holidays are really just a time of gathering your family together. And I know for me, if I'm traveling some, to someone else's home for Thanksgiving, I certainly would not want them to feel stressed out preparing for my arrival. So just keep that in mind. Well, I hope this um, gives you some encouragement, some inspiration, some tips on how you could prepare this week um, in advance for next week's Thanksgiving festivities. If we just pre prepare in advance, it oftentimes alleviates a lot of that stress that comes along with holiday preparations. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And I wanted to wish you and yours a beautiful holiday season.